Hey everyone, it's Ben Hard here, and in today's video, we're gonna be going over the all-new 2022 Toyota RAV4 Adventure, and this will also give you guys a sneak peek to a car that hasn't been through the pre-delivery inspection yet, so it still has all of the wrapping on it. Uh, pretty cool stuff. First and foremost, so a huge shout out, and thank you to the Larry Miller Toyota here in Murray for uh, letting me go out and film this. Uh, check out the inventory in the description down below. Let's get right into the video. So starting things off, let's talk about what actually powers uh, this RAV4. So under the hood, we have a Nachi aspirated 2.5 liter four cylinder that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. It's good for 203 horsepower and then 184 pound feet of torque. Fuel economy is 25 around town and then 33 on the highway. And like I said, this will give you guys kind of a, a quick sneak peek uh, to this vehicle and before it's done through the inspection, that's what's got the wrapping on the top. You notice the new headlights here with the RAV4. They're pretty interesting with the design. Got the fog light just down below that. And uh, you guys can see with the grill how it's all dark. And you got the Toyota logo that doubles as a sensor. And then notice how aggressive that bottom portion looks. Because again, this is supposed to be like an off-road package. So they make it so everything looks a little bit more aggressive than normal. And uh, finished in Lunar Rock. This looks really good. This has to be one of the best looking RAV4s I've seen. And then you can see here with the tire and wheel setup, uh, they kind of make the wheels look a little bit more aggressive, have that more off-roader type uh, design to them. And then you guys can see here with the uh, front suspension, I didn't notice any changes uh, with it. It looked pretty similar to a uh, normal RAV4. And then you guys can see the plastic molding for the fender flares. Uh, and you do have more, slightly more aggressive uh, tires. They're supposed to be better for like, you know, all-terrain weather conditions, basically, or all weather conditions rather, not all-terrain weather conditions. You know what I'm saying? And then you guys can see the tire setup in the back and then again the shocks in the rear I, again, I just didn't really notice a uh, difference with them, uh, but notice how aggressive those fender flares are to give it kind of like that more aggressive, bulky, uh, off-roader uh, type look. And then you guys can see here with the taillights uh, in the rear, this looks pretty much unchanged to the previous version. Got your Adventure badge there on the back, and then the RAV4 logo all blacked out. And then you guys can see dual outlet exhaust tips here at the very bottom. Kind of makes it look a little bit uh, sportier, which kind of makes sense because, again, it's the adventure package. And then, uh, yeah, you guys can see from different angles here with the Lunar Rock. It's a pretty cool-looking color. Notice you got the rack there at the top. Uh, it's a factory option that you can get uh, with the vehicle. And notice the difference in coloration with the roof versus uh, the rest of the RAV4. Pretty interesting to see that. And popping over here to the window sticker, um, you guys can see some of the specs. Uh, and I think it's good that they did the 8-speed automatic with this package because uh, torque converter automatics can be substantially better than like a CVT for off-road uh, use. And, and you guys can see the options over here. It's kind of hard to get the camera to focus. I didn't really want to uh, focus on that, but feel free to freeze the frame so you can see everything that comes uh, with the uh, adventure pack and all that. Uh, it's not a super expensive package. Um, and then you guys can see the total price uh, down there, $37,000 roughly. And then uh, this is my favorite part is the interior. You guys can see here with the seats, uh, really cool with the design that they've done. And they kind of have like that aggressive look in the center portion of the seat, uh, kind of like an off-roader type appearance. And then you guys can see the stitching and everything here uh, through the front. And then notice how that a lot of stuff is still wrapped up again, because this literally just came off the transport uh, truck. So it was interesting to see what's wrapped and what isn't <laughs> wrapped from the factory. And then here's another view um, from the other side uh, with all of that. And uh, the last thing I want to show you guys is the this was another uh, new generation RAV4. Uh, but next to a couple RAV4s that were with the uh, previous face, you guys can see the difference. Uh, it's all in the headlights. It looks like everything else is pretty much the same. It's just the headlights uh, look a little bit uh, different from a front end uh, perspective. So it's cool being able to see all of them uh, stacked next to each other. 